Sean Sewell with ingearmit.com. I got right here the brand new Nomad times Peak Design collaboration iPhone 15 Max case. It is burly, it is beefy, it's good looking too. In this review, I'll go over the features and functions and compare it to the Peak Design's everyday carry case, which I've been using for many, many months. So let's get into it. First, we'll compare it to the everyday case. I have this in each of the colors it comes out in. Uh, they sent them over ahead of production and uh, they are awesome. These are really, really good cases. They're rugged, they're uh, little charge. They work with all the Peak Design accessories, which I use my, on my Forerunner. I have a little mount right there on my bicycle. I have another mount. I've got all the Peak Design mounts. They're fantastic. And outside of that, Peak Design just makes one, very attractive stuff, two, very usable stuff and it covers cell phones as well as camera gear. I'm a big camera person myself, so we have a lot of Peak Design stuff. Now, Nomad is known for burly as heck stuff as well. And as we can see here, there is pretty close to the same profile as the everyday case right here. Just a little bit beefier on the bumpers right there. And it's still, as you can see right here, will play nicely with all the accessories. Um, it, also, I was very pleasantly surprised, fits in my side pocket on my cool pants as well as my true work. So there is it in the pocket, doesn't fall out. And as you probably know from other reviews, by trade, I'm a fitness professional and I do not take my phone in my pocket when demonstrating exercises. So I get into squats, swings, all kinds of exercises and the camera and the case do not fall out. Just to show you the everyday case also obviously fits in there very, very well. So. Thinking this thing did not make the case so bulky as to not fit uh, in my pants, because otherwise I probably wouldn't use it, to be totally honest. But let's go around here a little closer. You can see that the bumper is just ever so slightly bigger and it has a really good hand feel too. So like on the everyday case, there's your side button. On the Nomad, it's a little beefier, right? more substantial and this is of course a prototype on the everyday case you can see the little slot right there but here it is filled in nicely so really good tactile response on those buttons and again you can see comparison everyday case is smooth and functional but the nomad is just a little bit more rugged and not heavier i mean they both have I feel like about the same amount of heft to them but it's just a really nice and like i said it's good good hand feel so even when i'm out uh, split boarding in the cold and I have on some thin gloves. Um, I can still operate the phone, take a video, whatever, respond to messages, um, and it has a good secure feel. Something I appreciate, especially when it's negative five degrees Fahrenheit and I'm just trying to respond to somebody or take a wonderful video of our beautiful little dog. Right there, Chloe. So uh, yeah, what else can I tell you? It's a nice burly tough case that is not too bulky. I know a lot of the tough cases are rather sizable. They're too hefty in my opinion, which is why I don't ever use them. That's why you don't see reviews on them because if I'm not gonna use it, then I'm not gonna review it. As you can tell, I like it a lot. It fits in my pocket. Life is good. I don't have to change anything with my system on the Peak Design accessories and it all just works out very, very well. MSRP is 65 bucks, limited stock. I'll put a link below so you can jump on it and get one. And it comes in different sizes too. So this is the iPhone 15 Max, whatever, Pro, big guy, and it covers it nicely. Hopefully seeing this comparison was helpful. If it was, a thumbs up, so appreciate it. I've got some more reviews on some Peak Design stuff coming up. New everyday carry backpack. You can tell a little bit dirty because it's been, been tested the last two months. So stay tuned for the video on that. I probably shouldn't have dropped it. There's three cameras in there. I'm Sean Sewell, the owner of Director Stoke. If you want to see more content from Peak Designs, um, consider subscribing to our Gearmit YouTube channel. Link right there. Until next time, take care.